Okay. Um, yeah, recording. Good. I'm so fucking out of it. Hello everyone, I'm Katana the Lightning Cat. Yes, me, the big fucking idiot on YouTube. Your favorite fucking idiot. The only biggest fucking idiot that... You know, fuck that. I'm probably not the biggest fucking idiot out there. But I'll just take your favorite idiot. <sighs> Last week, a lightning storm came through. Caused the power to go out. Can't connect with a static IP. Yes. It says to unplug the power cord from your modem or router for 30 seconds. Yes. What did we do? <sighs> yeah, I've done that five fucking times this morning. I spent a fucking hour doing that. What the hell? Anyway. This fucking internet problem. What the local area needs because it's right in the middle. Here, let me do this. The eastern and western storm fronts overlap each other. And I'm dead smack in the middle of that little butthole. What this local area needs is a um, an underground conduit for all the power lines, phone lines, internet lines, so the trees will stop falling on the fucking power poles, so that the fucking uh, lightning storms won't knock out electricity and internet and phone for everyone locally. That's what we need. That's going to be a couple million fucking dollars worth. If I had it, I would just hand it to the fucking ISP and say, Here, I raised a bunch of money for you. Or I had a bunch of money for you. Here, here you go. Let's get this um, underground conduit network uh, set up so that... Um, when storms come through, we don't have power and fucking internet out. Just yeah, that'll that'll help a lot. Yeah, I know it's manually configured. Yeah, I've changed my settings like eight times already. It didn't fucking work. Yeah, I tried manual IPs, I've tried automatic, I've put in the information they give me. I just got off the phone with the ISP, verified that my IP, gateway, subnet mask, DNS, everything is as it should be. No, that didn't work either. MAC address filtering. I didn't even uh, talk with the fellow about MAC address filtering, but I never had that problem. <sighs> what is your fucking problem, eh? You, you've got fucking problems. I've got fucking problems that you're making for me. not connecting with the wire, the ethernet cord, or the the wireless that's built into the freaking thing. Nope, not at all. 
disconnect the wireless. Yeah, this this is fucking hilarious. This is to somebody, not to me, not right now. Maybe I'll laugh at it later. But this this whole situation all started when the storm came through and knocked out the power. Anyway, Like I said, to, it would mitigate these problems with storms coming through and knocking things out if the um, <clears throat> if the infrastructure for underground conduits that the maintenance workers can you know go to an access hatch and just walk through and check the lines and the the, the server nodes all in an underground infrastructure were in place. Yeah, it would cost a couple of million to start, but you know, the the ISP companies and the um, the power companies and the phone companies, you know, instead of um, you know going on about net neutrality like they did a few months or years ago, however long it was, why why didn't they try and set up something else? it's all about money it really is they, they take out net neutrality then they hit article 15 so that they can monetize everyone's YouTube videos and take the, the money away from them when instead of doing that you know, just call your customers people like me and ask them hey we want to set up this infrastructure so that it'll mitigate all the long-term maintenance issues with trees falling on the lines and lightning storms knocking out the power and the internet and the phone for everybody. It's going to be a huge upfront cost. Would you mind helping us out? Yeah, instead of being a sneaky little bitch and going behind everyone's back and killing net neutrality and then introducing article 15 what the fuck dudes get your shit together you're acting like you're separate from everyone else around you this, this is a major fucking problem if you just open the fuck up and communicate honestly and openly with everybody the the underground conduit infrastructure will mitigate roughly 90% of the maintenance issues with storm damage, okay? And if you set it up properly to start with, it'll mitigate uh, flooding damage in the underground conduit network. And you take the, uh, the designs for French drains and you combine that with Roman roads, ancient Roman roads, where they had, uh, let's see, the French drain set up. You dig underneath, you know, what the foundation is, you dig a bowl shape underneath. And you're going to have to have little outlets going, you know, downhill to whatever puddled water, water source, lakes, rivers, that sort of thing. You fill it with sand, and then small gravel and then larger chunks of rock and you go from gravel about like that to rocks like that then you pour some more small gravel and sand on top of those rocks and then you place um, blocks as a, a foundation you let that settle roll over it with a semi or, or a fucking steamroller or bulldozer or whatever that we whatever you want to roll over it with to help it settle then on top of that with enough room for you know air and water to go back and forth in you set your foundation for your your conduit to where it comes you know just level with the ground and on the sides of it, you do that same bit with the gravel and the rocks and the sand so the water goes straight up underneath it. 
So it's like you got your conduit, whatever shape it's going to be, and then around that, from ground level all the way up into the French drain Roman road setup, you've got gravel, rock, and sand for the water to just go straight through. Then you've got little outlets coming off of it periodically that will go straight into your natural water sources, rivers, lakes, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's going to be a huge initial upfront cost. A couple of million at least to start. But it, it's going to mitigate the storm damage. In one state, I don't remember which state, was it South Carolina or Virginia, East or West? It's one of those two, well, four actually, it's one of those four. They've already got this sort of thing set up and it seems to work for them. Well, I don't know if it works for them. I haven't done any research on that. But what I do know is the storm damage from high speed winds lightning strikes and trees and branches falling on the lines is a horrible thing and it happens seasonally here and it needs to be mitigated and having the lines for power elect electricity uh, internet and phone connections running through underground conduits that'll mitigate the storm damage that's happening here locally 90% I'm not gonna say it's a hundred percent nothing is ever a full hundred percent plus I, I firmly believe we should go to a thousand or a million percent um, system that encompasses a larger scale because you know everybody is uh, well there's so many people and, and so many things going on you need a larger scale to encompass it all and it's further proof that nothing is ever 100% you can take a diamond made out of solid carbon heat it up to its glowing hot drop it into a vat of liquid oxygen and it'll subliminate and it'll be nothing but carbon dioxide it's not a hundred percent guaranteed that that diamonds gonna last forever it's ninety percent guaranteed because the other ten percent is people doing things to it and you know diamond is brittle in itself and it will shatter so it's not a hundred percent nothing is a hundred percent But that's the highest probability and statistic that I can think of that fits. 90% mitigation. And since it is money, that's the issue here. Everyone involved the companies, the shareholders, the end user, the, the customers like myself, the individual like myself, we will all save money in the long run because no one will have to increase the price to mitigate the maintenance fees and cost. That's a huge boon for everybody. So then you can reinstate net neutrality and you know, take a take a lighter and burn Article 13. Yeah, burn it. What was it 13, 15? Whichever article it was. You can burn the ban on net neutrality, and we can all go back to being a little more happy. to think of it yeah all the telecoms cable 
and satellite companies will save more money in the long run and they'll have to well they, they won't have to ask for more money for the service packages they provide and they can provide a more balanced service package for everybody probably even upwards of um, going to one standardized package between all the companies <clears throat> to where it's all even across the board instead of you know dial up and DSL and then cable and then they'll be able to upgrade to putting everyone on fiber optics just put it that way well that's a, that sounds good that would be a nice end result about 10-15 years away from now if they implemented this underground uh, infrastructure massive upfront cost but you're gonna recoup those losses in the lack of continuous storm damage control and maintenance over the course of the next 15 years I'll benefit from it internet prices will slowly go down over the next 15 years shareholders will benefit from it companies won't have to put out so much maintenance on the lines it'll just be uh, an annual checkup on the infrastructure maybe even semi-annually at most that's a rough estimate don't hold me to it the companies will benefit from it from not having to replace damaged lines all the time especially in storm prone areas like where I am where on average it the season for the storm it's like uh, three times a month yeah that's the average I'm getting three times a month during the storm season I have to have the guys over at Charter Spectrum come out and do this sort of thing that's gas money that they're spending to drive out here that's money on the materials for the cables the lines the, the modems routers the gateways that is uh, manpower hours that they're having to pay for for sending the technicians out here one of them who was out here for four hours one day going through multiple modems and routers it is a shit storm because of the storm damage and yeah I'm fucking livid over it it's pissed me off I was screaming at my console for not connecting to the fucking internet <clears throat> and the closest appointment that the fella could give me was Monday and today's Thursday Okay, everybody who has watched this much of the video, please do share it. Um, that's what I'm going to ask you all to do. Share this video. If you know somebody who works for an internet service provider, please share it with them. That's it. Till next time. Toodles.